What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ooch. I'm here with the homie Kai and my brother, Ooch. And we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? What's going on, good folks at home, children of all ages, all types of people. We don't discriminate, but we're not here for all that talk. We're here for Dragon Ball and all other anime discussions that we're about to bring to y'all. Another banger episode of the Full Power Podcast. What's going on, everybody? My man Kai, how you doing today, sir? We missed you last week. What happened? Yeah, I'm sorry. I had a I had a chip plan and it got rescheduled to Tuesday, which is you know when we when we record the shit. And then I ended up getting stuck in the city, specifically stuck on an island. So uh, yeah, that was a uh, that was interesting, but. It's all good. At least, I, at least I had service to like communicate that a little bit ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So you know, I'm sorry, but you know, shit happens. But we here. We in oh it. yeah, we're here. We're no, no hard feelings. We're not mad. We're just a, we're, the only thing we're upset about was that you missed. I know another banger. <laughs> I was, I, I was listening to it, and I was just like, man. Yeah, brother Uch, I see you're nice and swole today. How you feeling? You know, man, got the pump going. You feel me? I run the gym, stir you. Know? Yeah, no, we're but we're doing good today, man. High energy, you know. Body good, mind good. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. How's how's how, how's the game in? It's specifically last night. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. I think I'm fully regained. I think. I think. I was watching that clip couple times oh yeah he knows times. he knows exactly what i was trying to the get memories, into the memories the memories for those that don't know this is more reason and quick little plugs to go and follow not you know all of us but definitely follow my tiktok and uh instagram twitter youtube of course because uh i've been putting up clips from the streams that have been happening and uh this guy right here I hope that it goes viral at some point because it's just too fucking funny. And <laughs> I've been, dude, all day I've been saying fucking loser <laughs> the entire <laughs> time. And it gets me cracking up anyway, but. So we're all good. We're all here. We are now. And uh, like we are uh, getting warmed up to discuss for you guys on this week's episode of the Full Power Podcast. Uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna have Kai introduce exactly what it is that we're gonna be talking about this week because the homie came up with the I dizzle so I'm letting him have the the shtick and he gonna explain it and uh, drop some donations we can get this guy a freaking webcam okay we got them supporters I know we got we got people all literally we're international you guys realize that we got people listening from all sorts of countries on all oh, the wow. mobile versions it's, it's true i'm not just saying that just to say it so but anyway kai go ahead that's let tough. us know what so, we're talking about today well that's tough so thank you to all who are you know listening or watching you know when it when it gets to that frequently again once again but um i wanted to talk about i wanted to talk about the overall appeal of anime you know if you think about the past 10 years that shit's been booming in the industry it's popularities through the roof we got monetization on the shit making movies and everything so this is very quickly becoming the new thing so i wanted to talk about you know how uh we specifically like got into it and you know why we like it and i know a lot of people are you know probably sitting there thinking especially if you're listening to this podcast because you know we're of i mean you know like we we grew up in America's and, you know, we <laughs> everyone's seen Cartoon Network over here. So Toonami, they just given us that good good. So that's how we all got exposed to it. But there's got to th there must have been something that, um, you know, caught your attention because, you know, Toonami didn't tell you, oh, this is this shit's fire. Mm. It, they just introduced you to it and you were like, oh, OK, this isn't you know, this isn't the cartoon stuff I've been seeing all day. Like, yo, these niggas are scrapping. Like, what's good? <laughs> Facts. So, for me, for me, it was definitely um, seeing something so intense, you know, as a kid where I didn't really I didn't really see that often. So, you know, seeing something, you know, cold as hell like Naruto or for me, it was Dragon Ball GT. I saw on Toonami and I was like, oh, what is this? Uh. So definitely got exposed there. But um, I feel like it's the I feel like it's the raw emotion and definitely the uh, the crazy action. Mm. 
I know nostalgia plays into it because we grew up with it. So that plays a huge factor into why people would, you know, definitely cling on to that. But as far as uh, all generations are concerned, I feel like it's definitely it's definitely just more popular now than it ever has been. And it's just going to keep going up. Mm, some great answers. Oh, I like this. I like where this is going. So how do you feel? I want to know how my brother feels because I, I'm pretty sure I know his answer. I just want him to say it because this is the, this is this is the, this is the stuff that I'd be telling you when we just talk, you and I, Kai. I'm just like this guy. This is this is his criteria, and that's it. Go ahead, talk talk to like, us about all the things Kai was bringing up. Why he got into anime? What the the appeal was? So I mean. Shit. I mean, my first, like, the first, the first anime, honestly, I, I get, ever got into was Dragon Ball, like, in all honesty, so, um, I mean, that was completely, like, different from all the other cartoon shows, obviously, it was just its own thing, so, like, I rewatched that shit so many times, too, so, Dragon Ball Z, we, we got all the discs and shit, that mm -hmm. was, like, that was prime time, so, I mean, and then after that, it was like, it was Naruto pretty much, but like you, like you were the one that put beyond like pretty much everything else. And then once I discovered, once we discovered like, uh, Crunchyroll, I don't even know when Crunchyroll honestly came out to really remember that far back. Yeah, like, yeah. because then when, when that shit came out, well, it was between Netflix and Crunchyroll, honestly, because then that's when I ventured out to like search for other animes in a sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, before that like you were the one that was like putting me on pretty much like all the all the good ones you know what i mean so i tried i like, tried <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean as far as like what uh like from what i like like that's the question essentially mm -hmm. so yeah i mean animation the quality you know what i mean so and then and then also like the story behind each anime like really gets to me too mm -hmm. so like and then whether there's drama but I, i'm more of like an action guy so but but if there's like like good story like that's impactful and stuff like within the anime itself and and then it leads into action and like there's character development character development is big too that's big on my list honestly so yeah. because then you really get like deep into the into the anime itself and also the characters so i mean i just love anime just because like it's different from all this regular ass tv shit because I, I don't even <laughs> right. watch tv no more man that's, like i stopped yeah. watching tv like a long time ago honestly only watch it for only watch like netflix shows like yeah, there's there's no more tuning into just regular ass TV. We go on fucking channel two ninety nine. Like no. Ah, fire! <laughs> Shots to Direct TV. I remember those Direct days. Direct TV shit, bro. Nah, but yeah, I mean, uh, that, that's what I. That's how I think from anime. Like comparing comparing anime pretty much to all the regular shit out there. Like anime is just better overall, I believe, just because of there's more story, there's more action. Uh, you can even argue like drama, drama here and there depending on the anime. Like there's 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 a variety, there's mm -hmm. a variety of animes like to to so you can honestly find your own like what you like and stuff. So that's that's how I'll end it right there. I guess on my end. Okay, that's very good. Nice answers. This very very uh very detailed. Very good for the people to get a little bit inside scoop. It's not just well. It is pretty much just a few things, but you know, you you you, you laid it out for him, pretty nice. Oh, Go ahead. the emotion. That's the last thing I'll say. The emotion, like especially especially if you watch like the Japanese side, like like uh, the sub version. Oh, you talking I, about I, like I the delivery and stuff? The delivery, yes. Mm. Us Americans don't deliver that well. <laughs> I, you know what? It depends. Well, it depends. I'll say because I I started with dragon ball English. yes so so that's the only that's the only one i'll, I'll, I'll now hold on just a moment oh yeah like, oh, know, oh, 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 please oh my god japan never fails me man when it comes to this go ahead kai i i'll agree with that they don't fail but lately 
we see we see uh english doing better and better absolutely Ooh. wait talk to him do you have an anime like reference type of thing like as far as english delivery you know with the like in comparison you feel me okay 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 so delivery obviously i'm obviously i'm a third dragon ball done um the next yeah, one that's all, that's all, that's all <laughs> I would say I would say the next one is uh definitely Sword Art. They they delivered really well. I think the um, I don't know if oh no, I know Uchi hasn't seen it because mm. people people did him dirty with the Fate series, but they delivered real well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I, I, I know dirty. the Fate series. I know they, the Fate series. They did a really good job. Um oh, I can't think of any off the top of my head. You know which one I didn't like? Uh. I didn't like Demon Slayers. I never see. I don't. You know what? I don't even. Uh, I can't even remember if I did try to watch it in English. I but. tried and I failed miserably. You see, I, this is that. That's that's exactly my point, though, right there. Like it's. <laughs> I feel like English is hit or miss. Uh, right? Oh, absolutely. It, yeah. It, it's hit or miss. So I don't fuck with it like that. I just stick to my Japanese niggas. You know? It is. It <laughs> is hit or miss. My <laughs> Japanese miss. Yeah. No, that's, okay. that's how I think, honestly. But I don't like. I'm not discriminating. I know English anime. I, oh, I, ha for, I have a question. For the most I have part. a question. How do you feel about Bleach? Like the dub, like yeah. English. You see, I don't even. I yo, I don't even remember. I, I <laughs> oh. knew it. I knew it. I see. I knew that was a great question you asked him because I was literally gonna be like, oh, if he asked oh, him knew. about Bleach. I bet you, brother, he's not gonna he's not gonna remember because I don't at all. It's like, yeah, because because I don't even I don't know how you watch it. I know how I watched it. Like, when I'm I saw so it, confused. it was it was on YouTube. Okay, this was when I was on my anime hard body in middle school and high school, and I was watching episodes of Bleach before I'm waiting for the fucking bus. Okay, <laughs> like yeah, like that's how it was. You know, like. It was it was it was back and forth between Naruto and Bleach, and by the time they put it on Toonami, it was like on Adult Swim, like hella late. So like, and usually I was playing Halo and like, or I was out with friends or whatever, doing whatever. Um, and so if I caught it, I caught it, and if I did, I was like, I didn't have any really real complaints about it because I'm <laughs> a fucking Johnny Young Bosch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, exactly. See, that's one of the reasons I ask is because I'm literally starting it. So I want to know which which path to take. Oh, yeah. that's a, okay. Even better. Um, I started watching Bleach. Like, I'm pretty sure from Netflix, honestly. Yeah, so you probably I saw believe. a Japanese dub then. I think. Yeah, I think. I mean, honestly, I'm just so tuned in because I've rewatched Bleach like at least two to three times really <laughs> yeah yeah wow. with the <laughs> fillers no okay <laughs> <laughs> once i like like when you told me about fillers literally when i was like grinding out bleach like and i'm pretty sure that was the first time i was watching it because I, I didn't know about fillers like that so you 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 showed me about fillers and i was like all right now I'm, I'm i'll be able to grind this shit a lot faster because that i was on fillers for forever until you told me about that shit but but yeah like bleach i um it was it was great <laughs> but as far as like the english version like i don't even remember like the voices like that just because of so much anime i just i just be watching just subs now like Japanese doesn't. so so more or less well so, so to answer Kai's question before I move on to what I wanted to say to that was I think if you choose if you want to watch it in English for Johnny I think you'll be fine because okay. they have other good voice talent for Bleach see um, that's so. that's what I'm worried about though is I would I absolutely would watch it for Johnny but if you know the rest of the cast sucks I'm out okay that's fair that's fair that is definitely because it is it, it is still hit or miss, and I'll definitely you know I would check it out you know for for his sake because he's very good, and I could probably find you know a couple others because they can't all be you know one direction. So yeah, yeah. I um, mean, I was gonna tell you, I was I would say if you start with English just to you know test the waters, and depending on how far you get, I would bookmark or just favorite 
some of the ones that you really wanted to go back and see or if or if you go the japanese route straight up and you're like okay this fight like when you get to when you get to ichigo versus renji ichigo versus kampachi ichigo versus byakuya you're gonna want to watch that i i would want i see, now i want to watch them in english just to see how my man johnny did right so I'll de i'm definitely gonna check out both of them and uh you know all the best moments and stuff like that but yeah, I, yeah, I wanted yeah, to know yeah. which one to go first so we'll see all right bet so the other thing i want to say before i go into my answer to this uh this this first topic here to to, to brother Uj was the thing with the voices right like so i think one of your things that you don't necessarily care all that much about are the the is the talent right as long as they deliver the emotion that you're looking for yeah i get you yeah no i i, I knew it it's I, the fucking passion yeah man. yeah uh -huh. <laughs> Like yeah. ja, 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 oh, yeah, Japanese niggas know how to do it, bro. I'm uh -huh. saying it. Yeah. yeah, no, that's why I say like English is literally hit or miss, honestly, man. Like, yeah, yeah, I cause like, Japanese know how to. <laughs> they they know how to do it. See, see, um, that's like, why I feel. Uh, I know you ain't finished Code Geass, but I I swear by the English dub for Code Geass because of how good that cast it's is. It's great. Yeah. I think we watched it in English. I think I made them watch it in English when we watched season one. I was like, the whole cast really sold it, in my opinion. Like all the royal accents and everything, it was it was good. And that uh, see, okay, right there, you said it. Thank you for bringing that up. Something that an English voice cast will have over a Japanese one mm -hmm. is that they're able to do different like dialects and uh and accents and stuff like that so like if someone has like a british accent or like an indian accent like it's gonna be a lot more noticeable and a way more prominent than if you're just watching the shit in japanese okay because the funny thing is that you when you said that you reminded me vinland saga right and i don't think either of you have, have, wait did you watch it kai um yeah 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 yeah. okay Brand, i don't think you watched it okay so. yeah because that that john's on amazon prime and you know i, I watched it in japanese though yeah well exactly right i don't i don't even know if it has an english version but in my mind if i was to be the director of an english version at least, you know, obviously they're all going to be speaking English, right? But the original source material, the way it's written, all these these characters that are coming from different parts of the world in like that, you know, that that European section, they're all speaking like Norse and Ger like all types of languages. And and the funny part is, is that when you watch it in Japanese, you're hearing everyone talk to each other in Japanese, but in the subtitles they have to point out that this person is actually speaking x language and you we would never know that because we're watching everything in japanese you know what i'm yeah. saying so like if they had that in i'm saying like if, if they had that in the in the english version it would probably be like you know like you you'd be able to tell like oh, this dude is at least coming from here, or they would just straight up have them speak whatever language and then boom, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's something yeah. that an English version would at least be able to deliver that a Japanese one wouldn't, uh, you know, unless they actually did what I just said, but they didn't do that for Vinland Saga. Every, every, everybody spoke Japanese from start to finish. But, um, so onto my, onto my answer with, you know, how I got into anime, you know, my appeals, my, 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 I feel like my, my answers are pretty much going to line up with you guys because I mean, originally when it, when, when, when I think back to how I started anime, I mean, technically I think the three of us for sure definitely started on anime without realizing that it was anime, right? Because hundred percent. Yeah. Because I can tell you right now, the first the first shit I ever seen 
was probably Dragon Ball Z. Okay. And I when I say scene, I'm talking about like first, like it was just brought to my attention. Like, oh, this is Dragon Ball Z. And they have these characters, right? And I'll never forget the first time I got put onto it. It's like this dude says, I put him on to what he started with, right? It was Papa Ooch, our daddy. Wow. That fucking literally started. He planted the seed whether he intended to or not. That's just how it goes. This man literally, I remember, and yo, mind you, this is before this guy was born. Okay, this is how, this is a way back. Okay, I was still a, a young buck, only child, struggling. Couldn't, I had no, no, I had, couldn't play with nobody. Okay, <laughs> had, had nothing, right? And, and when we went to, like one of my like one of one of our parents is like family friends like friends that they probably had in like college or some shit they brought us like well, they brought me to with them obviously because i couldn't leave me at home by, by myself or whatever or i wasn't with my grandparents at the time and i was there and the and the the male friend of my dad's he used to work like in animation or something and so he was playing an episode of Dragon Ball Z at his house. And he was showing my dad like the fucking like uh like like toys that they had for it so early on, way back during that time period. And I'm like, what is this? And my dad's like, oh yo, it's Dragon Ball Z. That's Goku, that's Piccolo. I'm like I didn't even question at the time how he fucking knew what this shit was, but see our dad, he, when he finds something, he gets like, he'll, he'll get hooked onto it. And he takes a really like deep interest into it. And like, I guess I remember when he was like, they were having these conversations, they were talking about it. And he was like, like, bro, you know how dad, he's like, oh yeah, yeah. That's that hot shit right there. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and that's what he was talking about with Dragon Ball Z. And I was like, whoa, like, it just looks cool. It's just fighting, you know, like, it's just right. like, it's colorful. And it was this action packed. And back then, like, listen, this is way before Super Saiyan. Okay, so we're, we're talking, we're working off of like Raditz, fucking Goku holding Raditz, Piccolo type shit, you know, like, this is what we're working with. And even then I was like, this shit is fire, right? Like. It's crazy how far we've come along. Now we're that now they're fucking deities, God in the corner, writing themselves into that corner, and they're the main freaking characters. But back then it was like these were this is where it all started, right? So that was like one of the obvious like like origin starts for me. And at the same time, alongside Dragon Ball Z was Ghost in the Shell. Now I can tell you this right now. Can't ask me a single question. I don't know a lick about Ghost in the Shell, but it was one of those things that existed back then that my dad, our dad, was like watching. And at a super young age, man, I don't know what the fuck was going on and no Ghost in the Shell. Okay, like it was, it, it, that's the big brain shit that I'm sure if I watched it now, I'd probably definitely understand it. All of us would probably understand it because you can't show that to shit, that shit to a little kid and expect them to like, like, listen, I saw, all I remember was like, back then, my dad covered my eyes because apparently like there was a part where like the 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 freaking like girls like boobs are out or some shit because she's like an AI, right? And like, she's being like, like created or some shit like that like i have no i i know nothing about ghost in the shell but i just remember like it was an anime before i realized what the anime was to, back then it was a cartoon right everything was a fucking cartoon and then uh the you know not too much time goes by and then pokemon comes out and then digimon comes out fucking monster rancher Yu-Gi-Oh, beyblade like like Bakugan. if if I, <laughs> fuck that shit but that, that, that's your time okay Bakugan. but like like when all these things started like just appearing and like as kids we were just watching it it was just like something else that was on tv that was like dope you know like we all watched you know like a lot of us watched cartoons and like you know the the fresh prince of bel-air type shows for whatever they brought to the table you know it was it was humorous it was funny you know, likable characters. Same thing apply with anime. You know, 
like you watch spongebob for the bullshit you know you watch the you watch pokemon because you're trying to see ash catch them all you're trying to see that dude be the best there ever was and then you know you're watching digimon for the freaking crazy adventures these kids are going in the digital world and 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 then like monster rancher has all this all sorts of crazy different shit. i don't even remember monster rancher all that much i just remember the name and they had a dude named golem and they had a freaking yellow character with like an eyeball or whatever and that's it brand you probably don't even know what the fuck i'm talking about because that 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 shit you know came way back right but what did it for me then right was just what you guys are talking about like great characters great story you know characters that were you know likable and back then i was not into villains like i am now i feel like as you mature as like a viewer you just fuck with the villains way way harder you know what i'm saying back then i was a pure good guy i was like fuck every single bad guy on the screen like i like i never had any reason to like cell to like frieza to like boo i wanted them dead i was that kid screaming at the tv cheering for whoever was fighting the foes okay <laughs> every single time like and i'll never forget this and i'm pretty sure brandon was obviously he was born at this point you was you was definitely still in diapers though i was at my friend aaron's house and his his mom and auntie they ran a daycare at their house okay and i was there after school i'm pretty i think you might have been there i don't remember if you were there one during one of those days or not but i was there with aaron and his sister and our other friend that was there and we was all around the tv literally watching freaking goku fighting kid boo with with hercule in there vegeta in the corner or whatever and i'll never forget the reaction we all had when they showed us the preview of boo literally being defeated they were spoiling shit back in the day too like literally the preview was literally when you see like boo like disintegrate right and we were fucking popping off like we was watching a sporting but we're like yeah like yeah, the fuck is it? right but see here's the struggles this is a little side tangent. This is the struggle of watching shit back in the day on TV. Next next day, you tune in. They started it over. From Raditz. Yo. <laughs> oh no. This is the struggle. But that's that's a side that's a side thing, right? So going along like once once I got to like middle school, like sixth, seventh grade. And my mom took away video games from me. I was like, fuck. Like, I have to wait till the weekends to play or sneak it, right? I had to get into other shit. So I liked drawing, right? So the art, the art, the freaking, the quality of what they can do with these art styles that translate from the manga to the anime is definitely something that I always fucked with. And just to see all that action, because, you know, obviously I'm, I already came up on Dragon Ball and all, all the other ones that I just named. But... Once Naruto came around, I was like, damn. Now, the one thing that, I, that I'm that i glad I'm saying that's new, in addition to everything that you guys uh, have already said, right? So it's not like a you know, freaking repeat, 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 whatever, is the soundtrack. Mm. Oh, my God. Listen, listen. Uh, what makes a great anime, all right, the appeal, all right, that adds on to the, to the, the character development, the it's growth. The passion. The passion. <laughs> the emotion right the delivery all those great things you know great storyboard whatever the fucking soundtrack if you have a nut ass soundtrack then that's gonna take <laughs> away a lot of points from your show right like you know like think of, i mean like look people like to shit on bruce falconer okay all of the super duper dragon ball peers will always shit on this guy because the soundtrack was completely different from the original Japanese score. And, you know, you like what you like, whatever, that's fine. However, everybody's a liar if they're going to tell me that if you're literally around my age, okay, and you were watching Dragon Ball, anything, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, well, especially, well, particularly Dragon Ball Z. If you just watch Dragon Ball Z on TV, and you're going to tell me that you were not hype. That you were not hype when 
they had the the songs coming on for certain moments and like it just added so much more to the emotion like kai you know what i'm about to bring up you already know how this goes oh yeah you're gonna tell me that when my man goku was given the freaking instruction the 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 he was showing off to majin buu the levels of super saiyan you're gonna tell me one of the most iconic moments in the history of history is just gonna be overlooked because of a bruce falconer freaking song this guy will always be cemented no matter how no matter how you like him or not because the fact of the matter is you're not gonna think back to that japanese clip of him saying and this is to go even further beyond you're not you're not gonna think of the japanese one because you're gonna hear the in your head da, na, 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 na. you're gonna hear it whether you freaking like it or not and like i said songs the soundtracks are they 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 make they they really bring about the like everything with with an anime like yeah like i'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking to some of my 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 top five which we're getting into uh shortly okay but i will probably we're probably gonna come back to this because <laughs> see you know what's funny is with the exceptions of dragon ball and uh like you know like dragon ball like pokemon Yu Gi Oh, things that we got to see on tv like on typical like you know cartoon network and stuff like that i i did not watch because it's like you said like we didn't know it was anime growing up right we were just like oh this is this is great i want to see it again that that's all we knew and i actually didn't get into anime until i graduated high school okay you know what so, that's, i that's love fair. dragon ball but i had not seen anything else you're not the you're not the first person that I've ever spoken to that's given me a version of that. But yeah, it, 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 there's a bunch of you out there, I'm sure. Yeah, I was. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me. I was just not about that life. But for Dragon Ball, it just it just hit different for some reason. I couldn't figure out why. And I feel like as an adult now, it's just I love anime because it's it is the passion. Like those that that soundtrack gets you fired up. That voice acting, you <sighs> hear like someone like get like mad or some shit oh um, oh yeah yeah there's there's so many different components and the animation's fire too you get the right studio you put lisa in the intro like it's game <laughs> over like, <laughs> yes i'm tight she's not doing demon slayer right now but they at least you, got imer no nah, oh, hold I up love hold Eimer. up did you did you see the season two opening for that yeah there demon slayer can't make a bad opening it's impossible nah they can't da, 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 right da, da, it's fire i like it I'm glad that they got her, like I said. Like Imer or whatever her name or whatever the name yeah. is. Oh yeah. They she's done uh a lot. A do yeah, yeah, yeah. She's been around. She she's like Lisa. She's been around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They I think they were I think they did a concert together at some point. Oh fire. That I'm I hope it helps us on YouTube. I'd love to watch that, John. I just I'm pretty rock sure it's like a clip of it, you know. Oh yeah. <sighs> Alright, boys. Well, that was a good opener. That was a little. That was a great appetizer to what we're about to get into, which uh, I don't think is gonna get heated. But I also, I mean, I don't. You know what? Nah, nah, nah. I don't think. I don't think we're gonna have any real like discrepancies with what we pick. It might. There might be discrepancies with what we see in comments. Maybe. Maybe. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I could tell. <laughs> oh man. There's going to be a couple of shows that if I see in people's top five, which obviously <laughs> is an invitation, please drop your top five anime. Okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be like, you're 12. You're probably 15. <laughs> yeah. There's a few that's going to give it away from me. But so I know what they are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't have to say it, but. Head to thewaypro.com and use my code USHI10 to save 10% off the entire website. 
So do you do you wanna do you wanna uh, do the honors, Kai? You wanna start? Nah, I'm nose goes in the shit. Okay, well I'm going last, so brother Ush, that means it's you. Word, <laughs> word. <laughs> right, Got him. All right, yeah. man. All right, so this is this is my top five. I mean, the top five. This is this is the right now, I guess. I guess. Yeah, but, it's subject to change. It's always subject you know, to change. Yeah, I'll just, I'm gonna just say it because this was more so like top of the top of uh, shit, top of my head or whatever. But then it's also the reason why these are my top five is because I've thoroughly watched them. I understand it and the character development. All all of what I said before pretty much applies to my top five. So. And if I need to, I will get into a little detail of why I picked this anime, etc., etc. That's fine. So, so, all right. So the first one is Dragon Ball, <laughs> Dragon right. Ball Z slash Super. I I put them in one just because you know. Yeah, okay. of course. I don't know. I don't know if y'all want to count that or it doesn't matter. Or whatever. See, I was I was struggling if we should even put Dragon Ball on the list because Dragon Ball is not an anime; it's a fucking lifestyle out here. So I was just like, really I don't even did. know if we should list this, but we might as well. Hey man, yeah, I was, I was thinking space about space. it. I was I was thinking about not putting it in, like, cause right, like because of that kind of. But I mean, it, it it's it's what got me into everything else. All so. three of us have Dragon Ball here. That's why we're here. <laughs> yeah. So I mean. Yeah. Absolutely. So my sec second one is Naruto. Third one is Bleach. Fourth one is Fairy Tail. Okay. God damn. That's yeah. Fifth one is Attack on Titan. Ooh. <laughs> That's a nice list. I'm not even gonna Ooh. lie. That's actually a good Fire. list. Fire. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So are we are we just listing them right now and then? then? Well, no, you can. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go around. Let's go around and list them and then defend our titles. Okay. Def <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> defend the titles. Okay. All right, so let's hear it, Kai. Right. What you got? Oh my God. All right, all right. So I got obviously Dragon Ball. We went over this. It's no secret. I'm putting Code Geass on there. No secret. None. Okay. Sort our online's on there. <clears throat> Expected. My Hero Academia. Mm. Mm. That was a tough one. Mm. My fifth spot was... My fifth spot I had to fight for that shit. But at the end of the day, I think that I have... I think that I have enough uh, conversation points to back this up. So I have to give it to Demon Slayer. Okay. Mm. Okay. That's, that is... Fit. Yeah. I have to give okay, it to Demon okay. Slayer. I, I was... Right. I was yeah. Attack on Titan was like right there, and I was like, I don't know though. Demon Slayer really got me hyped. I will. I I Demon know. Slayer. I I actually understand why you put Demon Slayer in your top five, just off of this the the the, the appetizer discussion leading into this. It exactly. makes perfect I sense. I was really thinking about putting it on. You see, oh my god, it's <laughs> like you see you see like I've watched so much fucking anime. So you like have. so like. Like my top five is is really top five, so like, <laughs> so so like, like whoever makes my top five, like you know what I mean, like it's it's up there, man. So See, like, now like if if we didn't add Dragon Ball to this, it's I would probably honestly put My Hero Academia word. up there. It, it was honestly between that or Demon Slayer. I okay, believe. okay. So we'll say we'll say that we have our top five, and obviously we are we're all Dragon Ball heads, so that's how that goes. So you can have an honorable mention to you know slide in there because we're all Dragon Ball. Heads. <laughs> that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, but yeah, that's tough. That's a good list. That's a good list, and it's an understandable list. But I will I will explain after like I give you guys mine. Um. I'll explain why I, I, it makes perfect sense. Like Kai's list makes perfect sense based off of everything that he's told, he told us before. So I respect it 100%. I'm not Appreciate gonna pit, it. I'm not gonna pit him with fucking all these, <laughs> these fucking losers. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to brother. All right, all right, anyway. Anyway, okay, here we go. So then my, then my top five, honestly, and I'm glad we all had something different a little bit. Some, some of our shit lines up. We yeah. got some difference, okay? My number one, okay, now, again, really quick, just to reiterate, 
my choices are based off of a lot of obviously there's a lot of the things that we we're talking about but i also wanted to incorporate how much i've watched kind of similar to what brandon was saying right like you know like you like the the, the the amount of understanding behind you know you know the show right so number one is naruto free okay this dude i grew up with this guy Nar I, i'm talking about naruto i was 12 he was 12 by the time he came back from his fucking training at age 15 i was in high school at 15 i literally feel like this guy was was another brother okay in the in the pages i was i was reading watching his story okay and then by the time i see this freaking movie this dude goes on has a kid tears i was like i grew up with this guy i'm a fucking uncle to boruto okay that's just the the, the short and sweet version number two death note yo mm. this shit i yeah, watched yeah. death note so many times okay so many times and i got so many people into death note okay death note to be to 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 be frank okay is a gateway series for a lot of people it's a show that it's not like your typical anime but at the same time it is it is probably one of my first big brain animes that I've ever watched. And that was oh, yeah. a brand new genre that I was not accustomed to, that I was not used to. And this is coming from a kid, okay? Basically came up from, you know, all everyone in my family, we all like watching the same action pack type shit. But when Death Note dropped into my lap, I literally was so drawn to how different and amazing it was that I was just like, there's no way I can't not put it in my top five okay yeah Number it was the first strategy anime i saw too and that shit was fire bro bro like this man light od son like yeah. yep. <laughs> oh my god like i feel like death note i feel like i could be wrong but i feel like death note definitely inspired a lot of you know other shows that came after it that were all on some like strategy type shit you know like you it, it gave you a new appreciation for characters that were just like the brains of the operation because when you like 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 i i fucked with shikamaru already but when i seen death note and i was like bro when it when is when, when the when it's the battle of the minds i'm like bro shikamaru is ridiculous <laughs> so okay so third is dragon ball z okay because again it's it it, it it is it is the start of everything it, it, we're talking about inspiration here okay this shit without without this seed a lot of the shit that we're seeing now to this day would not have happened because if it was not for this it was not for this it was not for this it all goes back to dragon ball you know what i'm saying so despite them writing themselves into a corner now with super dragon ball z okay i notice i say z not dragon ball like the whole series i say z because similar to to brother uch i watched a shitload of dragon ball z and the thing is i had to do it the hard way okay this guy had the convenience of the fucking dvds in the house the orange bricks okay between the two of us we literally bought all of them like as they were coming out okay but before them discs was a thing i was literally struggling through the grind of just going through life then trying to make sure that i was home or somewhere with a television with cable so that i could watch these fucking episodes so there's a lot of you know deep like you know uh like like a connection that i have with dragon balls i mean yo Ooh. I freaking I, I came with the shirt on okay like I you know I, I, what we and the thing is even if even if you can you can piece you can piece apart something right for all of its flaws that means you fucking love it right sure. I can I can I, I we, we how many times we shit on Dragon Ball man uh, uh. you know what I'm saying we do it we do it so much to the point where some might think that didn't know us 
that we were haters at some point but it's because of said passion right we we're just like it could be so much more and sometimes it has those moments sometimes okay but yeah. it is it is neither here nor there so dragon ball z had to had to throw it on there right yeah i've definitely watched copious amounts of dragon ball as a kid it was ridiculous and anytime i had to go out anywhere you know like dragged around like with my parents like going shopping or stuff as a kid like i would either be like playing the games or watching you know some some downloaded episodes on my psp or i would just straight up have the manga books in hand reading facts there it is right so i had to put that in right smack dab in the middle number three dragon ball z right now number four now i'm not gonna lie number four and number five are kind of uh they're kind of tiebreakers okay because i don't know i'm waiting which, for it yeah like i don't know which actual number to give it but i'm gonna just say how i wrote it down number four i got my hero academia oh damn i didn't see that coming my hero fucking academia is i thought among... that would be fifth huh i thought that would be fifth yeah that's what i'm saying like and and plus once i once i tell you this other one oh i know once i tell you this other one you're gonna be like bro like that's this, there crazy. can only be one thing you want to guess my number five yes go ahead berserk no what berserk's not on here you want to know why berserk's not even I, I, we're talking anime Wait, how much you rep that you need to you need to tell me why it's not there oh oh that's easy because because of what we're because we're, we're, of what we're talking about right we're, this is anime right we're talking about oh, okay. all the things that that that, that they incorporate like great anime and not to say that berserk well not to say that it's story and character development and all that stuff the soundtrack all that shit is amazing i love it love it love it love it love it like when it when if we're like it's the, it's it's how you ask the question right if it was your top five series berserk would be right next to naruto done deal but when it comes to just pure anime okay as much as i love berserk it would still be in my top 10 if we're talking about the 97 anime and that's it right and i've seen that one a couple times and whatnot but on this topic that we're here we're talking about you know the appeal and how we found it and all the things that you know that really stand out and all these all these elements that we have you know a part of it i couldn't i i, I honestly i couldn't i couldn't really add berserk out of respect and honesty because as a big of a, as a big of a stan and a fan that of I am of the show, right? I can't I can't sit here and pretend like I've been on it all my life. Listen, these shows that I'm <laughs> listing, Naruto, Death Note, Dragon Ball Z, like obviously with the exception of my hero, I mean I started when it was brand when it first started, but you know, like the first three I named, I came up from those, you know berserk was around when i was you know back during that time but i never heard of it and i got onto it mad late so for me i would feel like a fraud if i was to just be like oh yeah it's in my top five anime as far as series go that's completely different that's a whole we could have a whole nother topic discussion episode for that in particular so no it's not berserk all right well with that with that separate category in mind can i have one more guess since now i know it's just anime based go ahead if you it's gotta be bleach then no what tell us attack on titan mm -hmm. why okay <laughs> attack listen just like okay so just like similar to death note okay and you might be wondering they don't they're not the fucking same at all there it's not really i mean there's just, there's definitely some strategy going on in attack on time but not you know it's not it's not obviously the same attack on time is more known for its gruesome titan fights and shit and people dying every fucking episode and type stuff right when i first discovered attack on titan and i was with this dude we were so mind fucked that we were watching what we was watching and just like with i mean we're here we're talking about our, our top five like it had to hit you 
right and i'm not saying bleach didn't hit me okay because bleach has had so many moments for me personally that you know when it comes to the to the soundtrack to the to the theme songs some of the fucking characters the shit that i remember watching back in the day the difference with bleach is that i fucking basically dropped it i fell off okay i fell off of the anime when i was realizing that everything that i was basically on was fillers okay now i still kept reading the manga that's different you know i found my way to enjoy it but anime wise i had a limit attack on titan is like the one show that when all we had was 25 episodes do you want to know how many times brother Uchi and i watched them shits <laughs> Dude, uh, the the reactions we had. Listen, if I started doing reactions when we when we was watching Watch Attack on Titan before Dragon Ball Super was ever a thing, I feel like I probably would have had like a hundred thousand subscribers by, by now. Real shit. Like, it was it's such a crazy show that uh, unlike anything we've seen before, it fucking got us crazy. It made us nuts and we kept hitting like like we like when when we reached a point where we had to wait we were just like dude this is od how are they gonna have us wait a week for the next one like we were just dying and then by the time that shit freaking stopped was why we watched that shit again and again and again and again and we was even we, yo it got so bad to the point where we was pointing out things we were like Yo, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Like, I will definitely say that Attack on Titan's replay value is super high with noticing shit you never would have if you didn't keep rewatching it. Bro, let me tell you something. This, it, yo, credit to where credit's due. This kid, he fucking peeped. He was like, bro, anytime a bird flies, some shit's about to happen. Right. I, I was so fucking mind blown. <laughs> yeah, that is, man. Hey, yo, come on, come on. And and then and then, like I said before, I was gonna bring it back. The soundtrack. Fire. Yeah. See, Attack on Titan was amazing for me, but I I don't remember if it was season two or three. I think it might have been two. At some point, I just completely fell off of it. It was probably two because two was a was like a it was. So the the problem the problem that 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 Attack on Titan had back then was remember season one happened and it was like four years of no right. season two so that, people was those, that four dying. year break i was on I, I was like i was fiending i started reading the manga all the way mm -hmm. yep me too because that's what i'm saying like i personally couldn't wait he was trying to hold off until i got to the part where we find out who the beast and armor titan was and that is one of the two times in the history of history where this guy pushed the emergency Zeno button and actually read the fucking manga. Yes, believe it or not, this freaking guy right here actually read something. And that was one of the two times that it's ever taken place. And Attack on Titan was the first one where I literally told him, go read this shit right now. I know who the Armored and uh, Colossal Titan are. And he's like, no way. Like, I remember the text. I was texting him back and forth. And as soon as he was texting me while he was reading it. So when he found out, when he read those chapters, he was like, no fucking way. I OD. It was OD. I couldn't wait like, like, we were like I was saying. But a lot of people, for a lot of people, they did wait. They, they were not reading fucking shit. They were just like, constantly asking, when is season two coming out? When is season two coming out? And then finally season two comes around and it wasn't, it didn't deliver the same amount of heat that season one did. Season one came in hard. Okay. Season two was like. It was a build up. It was like literally see, storytelling. It was a lot that's of storytelling. Why, that's why for my list, I had to give uh, Demon Slayer the last spot is because Attack on Titan is one of the very few animes that when it ended or, you know, you know, went on a pause for the next season, I I just ran straight to the books and I was like, fuck it, I, I'm not waiting. Yeah, and I yeah. didn't do that for Demon Slayer. I didn't do that for most of my top five. But since I fell off Attack on Titan at some point for quite a bit, I Demon Slayer, I never fell off. Like that shit's still... It's still pumping, right? I no, and I and I understand why because like 
well, the, the thing that, that, that stuck out the most when you was explaining, like, you know, when you got into anime, right? Mm -hmm. You got into anime when you graduated high school, right? So even at that point, guess what also happened when you graduated high school? <laughs> we met. <laughs> See, even though I've known you since we were as little, right? Right. <laughs> this was this, this, once you went, like it was like you know you know how an anime like like characters they'll know each other for like a, a certain point of time and they won't see each other for fucking a long ass period of time and they'll like reconnect like we at were, a later part of the we story. We were just extras in each other's stories. That is Kai. To me, this guy literally was the the son of my crazy Spanish teacher, <laughs> his mother. His facts. Right, and. And literally, fast forward time, I'm an orientation leader at said college. This guy pulls up. I'm like, what you doing sitting there by yourself there, young one? The rest <laughs> is history. Put this man on to fucking everything. Everything. And it makes sense because you start somewhere, you know, like, and you started at a point in time where your, your brain was already like, you know developed to a, you know to yeah. a, to a level of understanding when you're watching like pieces of entertainment like this that like you know if you unless you grew up with it then you know you're not gonna have any kind of like emotional tie or connection anything like that whatever so the fact of the matter is is like and this is crazy for you right but you you're you're, you're like borderline lining up with all these new heads like these new fa these, these new fans right just because they're like this is the shit that they're getting exposed to immediately right now you know what i'm saying yeah that's fucking that's so funny but yeah like I, it makes perfect sense though because i'm like i was like oh well duh like I, i'm like I, me hearing that from you i'm not mad because yeah and and i i don't know like i'll, I'll really fight for those too because uh I, I put them on my list for very personal reasons because i feel like i definitely connected with the show on so all these shows on so many levels and you know it, it was it was past the hype factor it was you know the intricate story and all this crazy shit and you know so, some of these animes really like push the box and they talk about some controversial shit that you'd never hear mm. anyone talking about yeah, that's true and yeah. it makes you think and you know it changes i don't know it just changes you uh-huh yes it does and it makes sense because like like you know a lot of the shows that like like even on my brother's top five right he was naming shows like i'm not even gonna lie i low-key forgot about fairy tale i didn't watch it right it's but I mean, hey, bro. but see i know he watched it right and that's a, that's a, that's kind of old at this point. They got like, some soundtracks. You see, oh, it's old, but these motherfuckers Loki could have continued at least another season. But you know how anime fucking people are. <laughs> They'll bring it back. Nah, you They're know gonna what? They're going to test the waters with a movie. No, nah, listen. Cause what literally what they like they branched off like for that next season that they could have made into anime like it was it was like it's a manga piece essentially oh. like, and it never it never decided they never decided to make it come back well i don't funny, know if they will but the funny thing is though for for fairy tale at least within that like universe the creator made uh something else that apparently takes place like in the same like universe as fairy tale i don't know how like true that is but I gave that one a, sh a shot. I forget what it's called already, but I read like the first few chapters. I was trying to keep up with it and then I fell off on it. But I mean, yeah, like, you know, it, you know, it, it's funny because, you know, Kai is a, is a very good example of what it's like for someone to be of age, right? Like you're literally almost like you're around my, like you're literally in between me and brother Ooch right now yeah. in age, right? So like, so even even though you're in that age range not everybody started where we started because if it not if it wasn't for me he wouldn't 
have been so hard into Dragon Ball and Naruto and Bleach, you know? And all of those three right there was on his fucking top five. So like right. there's influence that goes into it. Say if say if you, you, you say say if I knew you when you were like that young and I was like, yo, watch this shit. Are you not watching this? What the fuck? It? Watch it, right? You would have probably been on at least Dragon Ball Z way sooner. I nah, I think that I think that if we would have grown up knowing each other, I'm I'm a hundred percent sure that you would have been the only human being to convince me to put Naruto on my list. Mm-hmm. I will still take responsibility whenever that fucking happens, but because that's honestly that See, is only going to be the point that when it happens. You know what else played a big factor into me getting into anime too? It was um, the same way you grew up with Naruto. I didn't, um, you know, I mean, I, I guess I grew up with Dragon Ball because um, I never I never watched Naruto like that. But what I feel like I grew up with more because you know I was not the same age as Goku, obviously. All right. But um, I feel like I grew up with Avatar, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh, that shit, shit. That does not fall in the category of cartoon nor anime. That's just straight fire for all ages. Dude, you want to know something funny, man? Avatar is another show that our dad literally basically got us on without it's, even realizing. Hooked. It has to be the Aztec, most like. He was hooked. Yeah. It has to be the most like influential thing that I've seen. And it just. It was the passion in that show, of course. Like as soon as it ended, when Legend of Korra ended and that series ended in like 2015, I just I couldn't. I was like, I, I have to watch Korra. something else now. Oh my god! I'll tell you something about Avatar. I only I I always liked it, right? But see, I was weird. I was a very conflicted individual growing up during all of this shit because as i'm growing up i'm also trying to figure out like the rules right like things are meant like like mario is always gonna be on nintendo right halo is always gonna be on xbox this is like you know these kind of comparisons for me when i saw anime it was literally on certain platforms. It was on YouTube through fucking people uploading the shit in five different parts. It was Toonami, right? Where a lot of other anime were shown. And then I came across a bunch of like random TV channels that you'd have to really just keep hitting the fucking button to just randomly pop on. And there was a channel that was, you know, one of those like movie channels, but it's for some reason it was playing Street Fighter 2V. Which, Brandon, I don't even know. You probably remember it. You watched it with me. It was a Street Fighter anime. And it was basically this story of Ryu and Ken as like 17 year olds. But they looked like they were grown ass fucking men. Which I totally <laughs> fucking never understood how that shit worked. And that shit was dope. And, you know, like, and I found that shit on a random fucking television channel, right? When I saw Avatar... My mind was blown in a way, not like Death Note blown, not like Attack on Titan blown. I was so like, what? Like, that's an anime on Nickelodeon? Like, I was so, <laughs> I was so fucking mind fucked. And for that reason, I, I didn't, then I didn't fully like appreciate it. I still liked it and I still watched it and I fucked with it, but there was something that was holding me back because of that confliction. Because I'm like, this shouldn't be here. This should be like a tsunami or something, right? Like, so I'm like, why the fuck is Aang sharing the same mantle as fucking SpongeBob and Patrick and right. motherfucking Timmy Turner and fucking Danny Phantom and Drake and Josh and all this shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, what? It may, to me, it made no sense. But Avatar's fire point blank free so is there is there anything else that we have to uh i guess elaborate on or break down a little bit more for our top fives <laughs> i think we might be good we're good brother would you good too damn unless i need to explain anything <laughs> from my five but I mean, we went into depth with like Dragon Ball, Naruto, Bleach, Attack on Titan. I mean, Fairy Tales. 
fairy, the reason why fairy tales on my list is because like i was really i was honestly connected to that show like like i was connected to it there was hype there was action there was a little drama i mean not not so much of mind games but there were there were moments in that show where it was like a huh moment like you know like, <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? like you feel me? Like, so like and then like the way it ended was just like dreadful for me honestly just because just knowing that they could have continued it and i hate when fucking animes do that shit mm. but it was good so i'm i mean it always comes up in my head like here and there or whatever like for topics like this and shit i guess so. Word. i didn't even freaking now that i think about it i didn't even i didn't even say why i had my hero where i had it to be honest oh yeah why i don't Dude. think i explained any of mine <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see when my hero first dropped i knew that it was going to be a champion i i just knew like there's a feeling i feel like i had this conversation with you the other day kai yeah we did yeah okay i was like okay i'm like wh why does it sound like i've said this already <laughs> but like i i i just had a feeling when I read the first chapter of that shit, I was like, this is going to be the next big hit. Like, Naruto's done now. This, this, I, I, I feel good for the future. Because this right here is fire. This is going to, this is going to take this, 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 uh, this, this, whatever flag, right? It's going to take the flag of anime and it's going to charge it forward. Okay. And the funny thing is, Black Clover followed soon after, like a few months after My Hero Academia. They, those two shows are right there with each other, okay? But the difference, right, is that My Hero Academia, again, another unique banger we never seen before. And it provided so much of the qualities that we're talking about with characters story action quality the delivery the soundtrack like it goes on and 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 the story itself mind you is not done yet okay i've been reading i actually am uh i'm probably like 10 chapters behind at this point but it's at a point it's been at a point every season's been been heat and even their movies are great I'm not even gonna hold you. I mean, number three was not as good as two. Two is the best one. I don't care what fucking nobody says. The second My Hero Academia movie is the best My Hero Academia movie they got to date. And the, the point, and notice how I said not the best anime film because that's Broly. Anyway, My Hero Academia is fire. It was. It, 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 it kind of like changed the game. It kind of helped people understand like, bro, like this is what it would be like if they did a superhero anime and boom. Like it was well done and it's still it's still an amazing one. And it, it kind of blew me out the water for, uh, you know, what what I ever would have. I never knew I wanted something like that. And when it happened, I was like, this is perfect. <laughs> like low key, I was like, this shit is amazing. I can't believe this. Uh, this guy, no, no quirk, no nothing. He's still acting hero like, god like. He gets power passed on to him by the fucking god like. Yeah. By the number one, yo. They had the ranking system, yo. This shit, yo. My hero is OD. You know what's crazy? He has to work for the number one now though. Even with that power, even with like it. when you when you really think about it, you would think it, like him being transferred the number one power essentially, like he would be OD from from the rip. But from he's rip. not. He has to, you know, he, he has yeah. to get that character. He has to get Yo. the character development to become number one again. Like not even again, but you know, with that power, he needs like. Dude, and the fucking think about the wordplay all for one one for all like oh my god like it's just shit shit is so sick like it, 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 the more you think about it the deeper it gets like you know how like a lot in a lot of anime especially with the shonen genre there's always like that 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 that, that shit that that the main character has to go through that helps them like grow bro remember when he fucking cleaned the beach a beach 
right. But then he I, got ripped. <laughs> he got shredded out of his mind. But dude, I was like, even even something as minuscule as that in comparison to like other feats from other characters. I'm like, bro, I've never seen no character clean a whole bu a fucking beast like that. And then he <laughs> came shredded out that John. Like it was it's just too good, bro. So that's why I had to have my hair academia on there. Easy. So, is there anything else you guys want to add before we sign off? Hey, man. <laughs> I think we're good. All High right. Five, Jones. All right, well, guys, well, let us know your thoughts on our top fives and all of the thoughts and elements that go into our you know liking and passion towards anime how we got into and all that good stuff uh, of course as always guys hit us up on the email fullpowerpod at gmail.com with all your questions comments possible topic discussion ideas and whatever you have to send us our way and if you're listening on the spotify version please answer the polls because any feedback is better than no feedback and and if you're enjoying the nice beautiful video versions where you can see our reactions to the, co the the conversations that are going then definitely leave a comment and make sure you are liking as well subscribing if you haven't already and i'm thinking in the near future we i might be migrating all of these to an official sanctioned designated dedicated full power podcast channel but we'll see if you guys want to see that happen definitely let us know in the comments below and uh, make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked little right here on this podcast. The homie Kai, my man brother Ooch, and we are out of here.